hate when people talk during the movie. Hello citizens of Gotham, prepare to be chilled to the bone. Today we embark on a frigid journey into the world of one of Gotham City's most captivating villains, the one, the only, Mr. Freeze. With ice coursing through his veins and a frosty fury in his heart, Mr. Freeze brings a chilling presence to the Batman universe. This icy antagonist has captivated the imaginations of nerds far and wide ever since his unforgettable debut in the legendary Batman the Animated Series. We're diving headfirst into the depths of Mr. Freeze's mysterious world to uncover the secrets behind his signature shiny suit and his infamous ice gun. Since childhood curiosity, we've all pondered what this chilling mastermind is truly capable of. In this video, we'll shed light on the incredible technology devised by this evil genius. So brace yourself as we unravel the icy mysteries of Mr. Freeze. Now, before we go into our video, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is just a a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Now let's begin. Miss Freeze, learn it well, for it's the chilling sound of your doom. What is the suitable temperature for Mr. Freeze? Here's a theory about our icy nemesis, Mr. Freeze. We're diving into his biology and uncovering just how cold this guy can get. After a little dip in some crypto chemicals, Mr. Freeze's body went through a major makeover. His skin cells went from ordinary to extraordinary, turning into tiny ice storage units. Yes, you heard that right. Each and every cell of his body captures and holds onto the coldness around him. It's like he's got his own personal ice fortress going on. Now, while we regular folks like to cozy up at around 37 degrees Celsius, that's 98.6 Fahrenheit, Victor Freeze, aka Mr. Freeze, became a flaming hot Cheeto. His resting body temperature hovers around a bone chilling 0 degrees Celsius, that's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, you heard that right too, 0 degrees Celsius, baby. So, what does this mean for the man behind the ice? Well, it's safe to say that his suit is colder than your ex's heart on Valentine's Day. We're talking well below freezing, my friend. Friends. We're talking about a temperature in the range of minus 10 degrees Celsius or even colder. That's the kind of cold that makes your teeth chatter faster than a squirrel hoarding acorns in winter. Now, here's what we didn't know. Mr. Freeze could survive outside of his suit in an environment that's colder than anything he finds remotely comfortable. Imagine him strolling through a house that's basically a giant fridge with the AC cranked up to the max. That's his kind of living situation, folks. I won't have much time. Days. How does his body function in sub-zero conditions? A little accident comes along and completely freezes poor old Freeze to the bone. This dude's got a condition that would make a polar bear shiver. His whole genetic makeup has gone haywire, transforming him into a cold-blooded mutate that would even give Jack Frost a run for his money. But here's where things get really cool, literally. His altered biology has turned his skin cells into cozy storage units for the cold. It's like he's got his own private ice hotel going on under his skin. And you know what? That icy setup helps his body chemistry stay comfortably chilled. So what does this mean for our frosty friend? Well, it means he's immune to the freezing bite of sub-zero temperatures. He's adapted like a boss. He's got the superpower to thrive in the coldest of colds, where most of us would turn into human popsicles faster than you can say ice cream truck. He's the king of sub-freezing temperatures, strutting around like he's on a winter vacation in the Arctic. How can he survive in normal temperatures? So here's the deal. Mr. Freeze isn't exactly a fan of warm hugs and sunny days. He's all about freezing temperatures. In fact, exposure to regular heat would make him about as comfortable as a snowman in a sauna. So to keep his existence going strong, our icy villain can only venture out of his igloo when he's decked out in a special containment suit that keeps his body as cold as the North Pole. In the early days, Mr. Freeze's suit was nothing more than a walking fridge with a big old dome-shaped helmet. Breaking that suit and getting him all warm and cozy was the key to defeating him. But as time went on, Freeze got wise to the whole weakness in the suit thing. He upgraded that bad boy into a fully-fledged suit of armor, thick enough to withstand fists, bullets, and whatever else Gotham City's finest could throw at 
with him, but that's not all. This suit of his isn't just for protection, it's also an exoskeleton, giving Freeze the kind of strength that would allow him to punch Batsy through the roof. His arms and legs pack an icy punch, making him an even bigger challenge for the Dark Knight to handle. Did you know, Freeze's cryo suit proved its worth when it shielded him from a bomb attack by some henchmen of the Ventriloquist. But as luck would have it, a pesky sniper managed to land a direct shot on the helmet's glass, causing a nasty leak. The pressure went haywire and the suit's temperature soared to normal levels. So, fellas, that's the lowdown on Mr. Freeze's icy attire. It's a combination of protection, strength, and an unfortunate vulnerability to well-placed shots. Can Mr. Freeze survive without his cryo suit? You see, after that not so fun accident, Victor Freeze found himself in a bit of a predicament. He needed his trusty cryo suit to survive in anything other than sub zero temperatures. It was like his own personal walk in freezer, keeping him cool as a cucumber. But guess what? The story took a turn. Enter the genius mind of Lex Luthor, who decided to lend a helping hand to our frozen friend. Luthor cooked up a special serum, using some crazy experiments from the first Bizarro promising to revive Nora, Mr. Freeze's beloved wife. Now, being the scientist that he was, Freeze wasn't about to jump headfirst into the serum without running some tests first. He unleashed the power of science on animals and even kidnapped a few ladies to check out the serum's effects. Yeah, not the most ethical approach, but hey, desperate times call for frosty measures. The serum showed some serious potential, but it wasn't without its quirks and side effects. Freeze, being the perfectionist he was, was determined to fix those before using it on his wife. Now, here's where it gets really cool. Freeze used his mad scientific skills to harness the power of nanotechnology. With a little technological wizardry, he managed to overcome the serum's weakness to temperatures above freezing. Now, he no longer needs to be confined to the cryo suit of his. It's like he leveled up and gained a whole new thermal resistance power up. Sleek as ice, Batman, but I won't need to see you when you're married. Can he shoot ice beams from his hands? Mr. Freeze, with his scientific genius, created the ever-popular freeze ray gun that could even give Elsa from Frozen a run for her money. This bad boy can produce gusts of wind that would make your teeth chatter, reaching temperatures that dip below absolute zero. Freeze's freeze ray gun has more tricks up its frosty sleeve. It can coat objects in a solid block of ice, conjure up icy constructs that look oh so cool, and even encase his opponents in a frosty cocoon that leaves them frozen in their tracks. Now here's a cool tidbit for you. In the early days, his freeze ray gun was actually connected to the boots of his trusty cryo suit. That suit provided the energy he needed to activate the gun. It was like a power duo of freezing proportions, keeping Mr. Freeze armed and dangerous in his quest for cold chaos. However, Mr. Freeze isn't just a guy with a fancy freeze ray gun. Sometimes he can freeze objects and people with just a touch of his skin. Yeah, you heard that right. Imagine shaking hands with Freeze and finding yourself with a serious case of the chills. In one iteration, the new 52 version to be exact, Freeze demonstrated his powers by freezing a water pipe underground and even Robin's arm. And in certain versions, Mr. Freeze can shoot icy beams from his hands, turning everything in his path into a winter wonderland. Take the version of Freeze from the Batman, for example. In the big chill episode back in 2004, Victor Freeze went from small time crook to cryogenic powerhouse after an accident. In this iteration, he could generate cold around him without needing a refrigerated suit. The suit was merely there to contain his powers and allow him to unleash those epic ice beams from his hands. Ice powers on demand. Does Mr. Freeze have any mental disorders? Unlike those villains who just revel in their wickedness and enjoy wreaking havoc for the sheer thrill of it, Mr. Freeze belongs to a different category. He's a man tormented by a mental health disorder known as Complex Bereavement Disorder, CBD. Yeah, we're getting real here, folks. Let's rewind to Freeze's childhood, where his fascination with cryogenics took a rather unsettling turn. He found solace in freezing animals, experimenting with cryogenic preservation. Now, as as you can imagine, his parents were less than thrilled about their kid's chilling hobby. In a move that would shape Freeze's troubled path, they sent him off to a suffocatingly oppressive boarding school. That worked like adding fuel to the fire. This isolating experience left Freeze feeling utterly miserable and detached from society. But it changed when he crossed paths with Nora, his future wife, during their college years. However, tragedy struck when Nora fell victim to a devastating illness. He became fixated on finding a cure, 
exhibiting symptoms of obsessive compulsive disorder OCD. In a desperate attempt to preserve the one he loved, Freeze chose to suspend Nora in a cryogenic state, a frozen slumber that would keep her at his side, yet eternally out of reach, and thus complex bereavement disorder CBD, also known as complex grief and prolonged grief disorder PGD, took hold of Freeze's shattered soul. CBD is like mourning on steroids, a profound and pervasive grief that seeps into every nook and cranny of the sufferer's life. How intelligent is he? Mr. Freeze is not just a master of icy weaponry and cryotechnology. Oh no, he's got a mind so brilliant it could give Lex Luthor a run for his money. Victor is a scientific prodigy of epic proportions. His brain is like a high-tech supercomputer, equipped with knowledge that spans various fields of scientific inquiry. Physics, engineering, genetics, computer science, chemistry, and medical science are all mere playgrounds for this icy genius. Seriously, his intellect could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with even the likes of Apocalypse. That's how impressive we're talking here. Now, Freeze isn't just a run-of-the-mill scientist, no, no, no. He's a remarkable medical researcher with a keen focus on the pathology and neuroscience of his beloved Nora's neurological illness. The man has dived deep into the depths of cryonics, exploring the mysteries of suspended animation and the potential for immortality. In fact, his groundbreaking thesis on preserving life through frozen slumber is a shining example of his research skills. But we're not done yet. Freeze's brilliance extends beyond his scientific pursuits. This guy is a true linguistic virtuoso, a polyglot with a knack for speaking multiple languages. English, check. German, easy peasy. Greek, no problem. Latin, a piece of cake. He's a man of many tongues, effortlessly navigating the linguistic landscape like a multilingual maestro. Mr. Freeze, the icy intellectual powerhouse. His mind is a marvel, a wellspring of scientific scientific genius that rivals the greatest minds in the comic book universe. Can he reproduce? Does he have any children? Victor's childhood was no walk in the park, fellas. Trauma and isolation were his constant companions, keeping him far away from social interaction. His curious mind, however, was captivated by the sciences of preserving life in suspended animation. This fascination led him down a frosty path, and he was whisked away to a remote school. Little did he know that this would only further his isolation from the warmth of human connection. But fear not, for love Love eventually found its icy grip on Victor's heart. Enter Nora, his future wife and the catalyst for a newfound sense of humanity in him. Their love was deep, romantic and transformative. In Nora's presence, Victor experienced emotions and feelings like never before. It was a glimmer of warmth in the frozen wasteland of his existence. Now here's the thing. While none of the comic book versions explicitly mention Victor and Nora having children, it's safe to say that before becoming a frosty supervillain, Victor was, and still is, a human being. And as we we all know, humans have the miraculous ability to engage in all sorts of human activities, including reproduction. So to answer the burning question, can Victor Freeze reproduce? Well, it's highly likely. Despite his chilling transformation, he remains at his core a human with the capacity for regular romantic encounters and, dare we say, the potential for expanding his frozen family. But let's not forget that the comic book can be a realm of ever-shifting dynamics and untold stories. The specifics of Victor's parental status may lie shrouded in mystery, waiting to be explored in future tales. Is Mr. Freeze immortal? Once Nora, the love of Victor's life, was successfully revived, she eagerly awaited her husband's return to the vibrant streets of Gotham City. But alas, no contact came from the frozen fiend. You see, Mr. Freeze was burdened with a deep shame, unable to face his beloved when his condition rendered personal touch impossible. Little did anyone know, the very accident that bestowed upon him a semblance of immortality had an unintended consequence. It caused his body to de deteriorate over time. By the time he managed to nab some unfortunate doctors to halt the decay's progress, only his head remained intact. But fear not, for Mr. Freeze is not one to be defeated by mere bodily limitations. Oh no, he adapted. A head encased in a futuristic capsule, equipped with spider-like robotic legs that scuttle about, granting him the ability to maneuver and navigate the world. And when he requires a little more mobility, a larger robotic body comes to the rescue, allowing him to walk those extra frosty miles. 
Miles. So, is Mr. Freeze truly immortal, you ask? Well, the answer is both a freezing yes and a chilling no. While his head remains intact, preserved in its icy capsule, his body has succumbed to the ravages of time and frost. But this frosty genius has found ingenious ways to adapt and continue his icy reign. Marvelous verdict. In conclusion, Mr. Freeze's physiology is a fascinating blend of tragic circumstances and scientific brilliance. From his childhood fascination with cryogenics to the transformative accident that altered his biology, Victor Freeze emerged as a fatal opponent for the Dark Knight. Ultimately, Mr. Freeze's anatomy encompasses more than just physical attributes. It embodies a multifaceted character, blending tragedy, brilliance, and a chilling quest for redemption. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. And I've come to make your life a living hell. Prepare.